welcome to your lecture on uh, social media analysis this lecture is a part of your paper on uh, the communication uh, research uh, in this lecture you will learn about uh, the harvesting and analysis of data from social networks like twitter youtube and uh, facebook uh, it is a totally automated process the idea is to see the data through new paradigm of uh public's perception this is a crowd source data and uh, this data can reveal many meaningful patterns and uh, users perceptions very few uh, research studies have been done on the user perception so social networks uh, they give you a very good opportunity with their data so social media unarguably is referred to as people's media Uh, we are all witness to the users instant reactions on some national uh, issues uh, on facebook whatsapp twitter youtube instagram snapchat uh, sms etc and uh, and recently a few mainstream media uh, like tv and uh, newspapers and the radio have started uh devoting special space or air time to showcase a select few posts or comments from uh social media uh, it shows the growing importance of the social media uh, in the traditional media itself so uh, mass media traditionally was bereft of the public's feedback but the social media uh proved to be a game changer uh, in this uh, hence a, uh, a systematic scientific and uh, machine enabled research is the need of the hour and this data is very interesting and uh, very few researchers know how to extract and analyze this data so it gives you an edge Uh, over other people social media is defined as a group of internet based applications that build on the ideological and technological foundations of web 2 and that allow the creation and exchange of user generated content so both the definition they have been adopted uh, from kaplan and uh, Heinlein in 2010 uh it may be regarded as the fifth pillar of the constitution uh, media uh, being the fourth pillar and uh, this social media is uh, the cradle of citizen uh, journalism also uh, many researchers believe that uh, social media is characterized by a uh, creation and uh, propagation of uh, user generated material uh, seamless uh, interactivity uh, immediacy uh, through electronic uh, word of uh, mouth uh, and uh, this was given by metic and uh, capolus in 2012 uh, this is a very uh, relevant uh, definition of social media the crowd sourced information lying in the servers of these public networks which serves as researchers gold mine such as measuring the image correction on twitter by narendra modi estimating the political orientation in polls forecasting diseases predicting uh, the company's sales stock price forecasting etc so it is applicable across the board in many situations and many areas similarly the data uh, that is the comments posts likes dislikes view count etc available on youtube twitter and facebook is of multi dimensional nature and utility it is not a 
single dimension data and it reveals uh, many hidden patterns and social media is arguably the most important organ of public participation and uh, engagement which has been invented in the 21st century after the world wide web. So there is no doubt about that. Uh, it has changed the people, it has cha changed the polity, it has changed the society sometimes for good, sometimes for bad. But uh, you cannot reject it anyway. Uh, Facebook data analysis we would start with. Uh, Facebook if it were the nation would have been the biggest planet on the earth. It comprises of personalized Facebook page, posts, likes, comments, photos and videos. Uh, this rich data can be harvested by researchers for insights. Biggest issues in the social media data harvesting pertains to the digital skills that is the technical knowledge, price issues and uh, the limitation of the freewares that is uh, free softwares and uh, multi-dimensional treatment with the data. These are all the limitations or you can call the opportunities. We would employ the free software which is known as FacePager which can be uh, downloaded from the internet and uh, as you can see uh, in the image it is explained very well. Uh, this is I think right now it's the only uh, freeware available as far as uh, downloading the social uh, the Facebook data is concerned. Uh, after installing the face pager, click the new database as shown in the arrow of the image. Then uh, click add nodes. Uh, copy the ID from the Facebook. For example, uh, www.facebook.com slash Mr. Bean. Here Mr. Bean is the ID. So insert this ID in the nodes section of the face pager as shown below and uh, multiple IDs can also be inserted at once. One ID per line. Now go to the source and select the user posts. Afterwards get the access token from the Facebook by logging in your account. Now this access token is very important in all the social media uh, data harvesting. X6 token is a security identifier from your side and uh, social networking sites are quite careful as uh, uh, who is using uh, their data. So you have to be an authenticated person and there is a limit to the data uh, harvested. Uh, normally it ranges from 1 lakh posts per day which is sufficient for you and uh, there is a limit in the 24 hours uh, span time. Uh, but it, this much data is uh, sufficient uh, for a good research study. And assuming that the access token is re retrieved uh, and entered in the Facebook, then you will click the fetch data and the posts would be retrieved. Now you can go further by uh, retrieving the comments on these posts. When the node is expanded, node means one post. It is expanded downwards, the data is visible as shown in the picture. It's very simple. You select uh, the option like user ports, user comments, uh, photo comments, video comments, etc. Once sufficient data is collected, then you select it by shift plus click and then click export data. The data would be exported to the CSV format which can be converted into Excel format uh, using any good uh, free website and uh, the data can be analyzed by converting into the text file in the UTF-8 format and analyzed in the corpus analysis software which we discussed in the previous presentation uh, and conk is the software face pager it can't gather the data beyond Facebook IDs. It has got certain limitations. But these days companies, governments and individuals, they have their own individual Facebook pages, which are uh, like 
personal domain for reaching out to the world at a single click. For collecting data in the same manner as uh, done before like we uh, did uh, in face pager. Uh, so another free tool has to be tried. Uh, now here there is a disclaimer that there is no one standard choice of uh, software selection for data retrieval as you know that the things keep on changing in the online world and uh, new online softwares may come for free which are more better than the face pager. Uh, hence for collecting uh, data from Facebook pages a new known programming exercise need to be performed and it would bring each Facebook posts number of likes, shares, comments, uh, the number of Facebook reactions, uh, reactions are in the form of like, love, wow, haha, sad, angry and comments and Facebook IDs of the users uh, who commented, shared or liked the post. So uh, some privacy issues apply here. You can use the uh, link as shown in the image uh, and you can click it. You can uh, enter the Facebook uh, page address and uh, harvest the posts uh, as shown in the image and uh, you will be able to retrieve some kind of data from Facebook. And uh, let me share with you that uh, all these four prints on digital media research methods, they need to be seen as a package for analysis of this uh, social media data also. Uh, because once we collect the data in Facebook, it has to be analyzed in the corpus method for which the uh, digital data analysis methods uh, should be known to you. So uh, for collecting data from Facebook, Google power searching commands, they have to be learned and uh, uh, and many, many similar stuff. The above mentioned methods uh, have a few limitations also. As I told you first, there is a limit to the quantum of data extraction as per the API limit, but still it is sufficient. Yeah, one lakh Facebook posts in 24 hours. The, uh, common restrictions associated with freebies apply here also and uh, second uh, the above freewares they can collect the data as it is from a Facebook ID or page which means you can't collect data as per your own choice of words or query for example harvesting all the Facebook posts or comments which contain the word demonetization. It is not possible with this uh, freebies. Uh, to overcome this problem, uh, Google power searching uh, commands, they uh, would have to be employed. Uh, like if you enter uh, the command in Google site columns facebook.com space demonetization or demonetization uh, spelling is different sorry the n is missing in the second spelling but this is the command it's a powerful method which brings 153000 results on this day of recording so you can go to individual com uh, facebook posts and collect uh, the matter yourself but that is a manual process and very cumbersome also. So the number of posts can be randomized and content saved manually or by using Google Chrome extension that is link clump. We just discussed in the last uh, presentation about the link clump. It sorts out all the headlines and this would harvest the data as per the headlines of the Facebook posts and the corresponding URLs as shown in the table. So at least some kind of uh, your control on the data is there. So we have discussed two methods where standard ready-made data is given to you and in the second you can uh, ask for the data in your formats. 
So the later uh, the URLs can be opened separately in the browsers and uh, contents they can be copied and pasted and analyzed. For that you need the corpus method of analysis. Uh, we are going to discuss another automated method uh, uh, which is uh, to open the content of these URLs all at once by pasting in www voyant.com. The URLs fed uh, in the website would give the social media analysis of Facebook ads shown on the screen. So you do not have to do anything just copy the URLs of the Facebook posts and enter into the website and press enter. The corpus of the Facebook post or comments being searched this way present multiple styles of data analysis and interpretation both visual as well as uh, in the text form. Uh, moreover, Facebook data in Hindi, Punjabi and uh, other regional languages can be collected and analyzed easily. So do not forget to, uh, this website uh, voyant.com. Uh, the site even generates an interaction of selected terms for example, demonetization or BJP with the other words in the bubble form. So demonetization or BJP has a few links to the other words and graphic representation can be shown as in the image. The links between the objects show a dynamic interaction between the two terms and we call them as actors in the social media data. The width of uh, uh, the thread indicates the uh, type of connection. If the width is more than it is a strong connection, if the width of the connection is uh, thin that it is a uh, thin connection. Another deep insightful way of looking at social media data is the downloading of your own Facebook data as GDF file and open in the Gephi. Gephi is the open source uh, software which can be downloaded freely and uh, it recognizes the GDF file and uh, your interaction with your friends uh, would be presented to you in a network form as shown in the uh, image. The circles depicted the nodes and the arrows between them show the interaction between the nodes. Here the nodes means the people. The interaction in the form of arrows is shown between the two people that is the nodes. The direction of the arrows indicate the direction of the communication from A to B node or vice versa. So there may not be a single arrow between two or more nodes which means that uh, these two people they have never interacted though they are uh, well within your network of the people and uh, meaning thereby no communication between uh, these group of nodes, uh, people or uh, the people individually. So Gaffey is the open source and free software which can uh, map the interaction between uh, people on the Facebook. Uh, and other networks but its limitation is that it can only analyze your own network and uh, issues related to the privacy permission and uh, law emerge while analyzing other people's or organizations networks. So you can analyze uh, only your network because you have to enter your own ID and password not the other person's ID and password so privacy issues they uh, come up here. The social network analysis is the mapping and measuring of relationships and flows between people, groups, organizations, computers or other information oblique knowledge processing entities. So this definition was given by Valdez Curves in 2002. Social network analysis uh, we called SNA is a method for visualizing our people and connection power leading us to identify 
how we can best interact to share the knowledge uh, within these networks. So Gephi can analyze the known Facebook network data sets also. Uh, it has many more features like uh, measuring uh, strength of the connection, identification of community in the network, ways to spread the message quickly in a network etc. Uh, with the new uh, technological uh, developments, uh, ready-made network data sets of uh, Facebook interactions, Twitter interactions, worldwide communication patterns of emails and the like may be available uh, soon in the public domain which uh, enrich our insight into uh, the social media analysis uh, through social network analysis. A Google power search may reveal a, uh, a few of uh, them already available uh, for free download and distribution. So Stanford University has uh, created a few open uh, network data sets which are available freely at uh, their website snap.stanford.edu uh, so this was uh, slightly uh, different uh, offshoot of social media analysis which we call as social network analysis uh, we come to uh, our own social media analysis uh, uh, topic by uh, discussing about the youtube comments uh, as you can see the website uh, that is ytcomments.clostama.nn.ca uh, you can enter the uh, videos URL of the YouTube uh, and the result can be downloaded as CSV files uh, and can be further analyzed as corpus data in AntConc. Uh, so uh, by pasting the text in the uh, beta.voyant-tools.org to generate instant analysis of textual properties. So uh, you can see the image, so you don't have to do anything, just go to the uh, comments uh, URL and uh, enter in the YouTube comment website and harvest the URL, uh, the comments in the CSV format. Uh, however, for a more detailed YouTube data analysis, a freeware from the link given below in laxiurl.wlv.ac.uk uh, uh, slash searcher uh, can be found. This is Webometrix analysis. It can be downloaded. It is uh, the free software from the University of Wolverhampton, UK. Uh, this software from uh, the Wolverhampton has extensive functions of data extraction at very deep level from Twitter, YouTube and the World Wide Web etc. Uh, before starting uh, we need to get the Azure YouTube data API key as shown uh, in the image. For rest of the uh, data harvesting from uh, Twitter uh, we don't need the Azure key. Uh, we can collect the YouTube data in many forms. For example, collecting the videos on a particular query and uh, video IDs of the video. After this, a whole bunch of video IDs are collected uh, which are of similar nature. For example, MOOC, elections, demonetization etc. Now this function will collect all the video IDs which are similar in nature so that the analysis is coherent. So these video IDs are listed in a notepad file and then we can press the get YouTube comments for uh, the list of video IDs buttons as shown in the image. So it would collect the comments uh, from the multiple IDs at once. Uh, simultaneously it can do that, previous uh, website could not uh, do that because of the limitation but uh, this is a very advanced software. 
So first of all, create a simple notepad file with the query Obama and Trump and is a Boolean operator. It has to be in the capital letters. Uh, it will harvest the tweets which have the words Obama and Trump uh, in the tweets. And uh, you upload that. It can be Obama or Trump or is in the capital letters again. Uh, so tweets uh, which have the either the word Obama or Trump uh, would be harvested. Uh, now the tweets can be extracted from a particular handle also. For example, from colon Hindustan Times. Now Hindustan Times is the Twitter handle means Twitter address of the newspaper Hindustan Times. So it will uh, retrieve all the tweets from Hindustan Times. So these kind of uh, methods are available. The flexibility in tweets extraction is that the software can simultaneously search all the above query forms at one go. Uh, for tweets extractions, you need to have account on Twitter and uh, the app uh, would request the Twitter on your behalf for authentication. That is, you will have to get a PIN number uh, in order to access the uh, Twitter database, again that is API and you don't have to do anything, the webometric software or the app will do it for you, you just press next, next, etc. After the permission is granted uh, and uh, you share that PIN number with the app, uh, the extraction starts. Webometric can collect random tweets being done at any particular time. For example, you want to search the Twitter database uh, for latest tweets on any topic, you can do that. Uh, that is a separate form of analysis. Uh, the tweets are collected in the text file and the data is copied and pasted in Excel. Uh, and the message part of the tweet is sorted along with its retweets username etc. Not all the stuff in the harvested tweets. Uh, is required, but only the message heading is uh, required. So this data can be analyzed according to the research objectives in the corpus software or that uh, beta dot point dash tools dot org uh, as discussed. Uh, it would be better if you learn Antcock as uh, discussed in the earlier presentations that will give a complete command over the text. And a few things have to be noted that uh, Twitter allows only 7 to 10 days old tweets by freewares and uh, for older tweets you may have to pay. So this is uh, the constraint. Uh, and data extraction from Facebook is more challenging than uh, YouTube and uh, Twitter uh, because uh, of many uh, internal uh, software uh, issues with the Facebook. Every type of social media analysis has to be done in any external text analysis softwares that is the copper software or specialized softwares like most days only applicable for the Twitter. A random search on Google would show many websites which can analyze Twitter data for trending hashtags. Uh, Twitter statistics, sentiment of any person or product on Twitter, etc. But most of them do it with a very small sample of tweets. And the uh, uh, paid softwares provide really exhaustive and uh, deep analysis. So this is a slight limitation on our part. Uh, for collecting older tweets, Google power searching commands, uh, they can be used uh, and can be applied just like the one applied in case of Facebook. And uh, you will get the old tweets uh, and uh, you can harvest them as per their headings. Not all data would be there but uh, you see if it uh, serves your purpose. This way the old tweets can be retrieved free of cost. Uh, but they are slightly difficult to harvest because of their format. 
For an extensively deep analysis, the tweets collected in the notepad file have to be converted into the MOSDE format. Now, MOSDE is another software from the uh, Wolverhampton University, of course, the free of cost. Uh, it is a free Twitter time series analysis software. It's, it can only uh, harvest and analyze the tweets, nothing else. It can be downloaded from the website as shown in the image and it is the best freeware available uh, till date. Uh, and it can analyze the data in terms of gender differences, sentiments, time series graphs that is over an extended period of time, word frequency, co-word comparison analysis etc. So this is really cool stuff and uh, you do not have to do anything just enter your query and get the desired output which can be uh, exported in the excel format and you can interpret at per your own convenience. Now there are some ethical guidelines in the social media research. Since network data is people's data and hence a researcher must deal with this very carefully. One of the biggest areas of concern with social media data is the extent to whether such data should be considered public or private data. Uh, this was outlined by Townsend and Wallace. This seems to be a fairly good proposition because uh, the data is public, still it is private. So, there is no uh, distinction in that. The process of evaluating the research ethics cannot be ignored simply because the data are seemingly public. Boyd and uh, Crawford in 2012, they outlined this. Questions of whether online postings are public or private are determined to some extent by the online setting itself and whether uh, there is a reasonable expectation of privacy on behalf of the social media user. It was outlined by British Psychological Society in 2013. Though the data is shared publicly on networks for general viewing, but it is always advisable to make, to mask the identity uh, of the user of their IDs for the loss of reputation, motive attribution and public shame. So data is public still it is private and uh, all the ethical guidelines uh, apply here. Hence social media analysis tend to compromise with the anonymity of the users. Some of the guidelines they uh, pertain to the common sense and some of them are really uh, relevant for the social media analysis. The same is well guarded in the traditional method of research. The anonymity is ensured in the traditional method of research but not in the social media analysis. So you have to be very careful about that. Exposing the identity may result into embarrassment and even prosecution and though the data is public but it is to be treated as private. Data belonging to the vulnerable sections of the society like children, women and minorities warrant exposure. If during the process of reporting the results or uh, referring to any individual post, the researcher should think about either paraphrasing the same or removing the user ID or both. Alongside, the researcher must keep in mind the legal issues and the terms and conditions of data extraction. The APIs give you the right terms and conditions of the data extraction and uh, you automatically agrees to that. The data extraction must be in accordance with the institutional ethical guidelines, funding agencies, policies and data policies of the land. So these are very, very crucial issues and sometimes we are not able to uh, 
see the nuances of the data attraction expression, so it may help. According to the association of internet researchers, no set of internet research guidelines can be static because technologies and the way the technologies are used, these are constantly changing, everything is dynamic. So new paradigms would keep on evolving and most of the paradigms they appeal to the common sense. Hence the researcher being the custodian of public's data is the trusty too. In the end, while finally concluding, I hope that at the end of this lecture, you are well acquainted uh, with the social media analysis techniques. I hope this lecture has been useful and helpful in uh, learning various fun laden and innovative techniques of uh, analyzing social media data and uh, for more details you can read the module on uh, this lecture carefully and uh, attempt the questions in the and, and read all the chapters of digital media research methods, uh, four chapters and the presentations because they must be treated as the complete package to understand every individual lecture. Thank you.